Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Palm Springs, California, Big Daddy. All right, get into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. is underway, and we've got a striker here. Oh! Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Plus right hand is true. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Good stick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done.
three minutes in our opening round. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Another shot lands upstairs. Way to hide that leg kick. It's not a go. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. By the opponent. Trying to establish that jab once again. Put your hands up higher. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Good punch. 10 seconds to go in round one. Oh, knee strike right to the body. What a fight so far! Alright, so a high level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you gotta think the knockdown is gonna be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this you're winning. And you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Just misses there with the left. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Ooh, head kick lands. was hurt. Nice strike. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's pretty high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, big left hook there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Let's get him down. Big kick lands. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Body with relative ease there. What a body kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Big punch land. Ooh. 
30 seconds now to go in the round. 20 seconds to go round two. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Landed that left hook. And the horn sounds out of round two. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Ooh, big shot lands. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Beautiful body kick. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there, really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. And he switches his stance yet again. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Under two minutes to go in the round. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to his feet. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, nice jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai plum. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Okay, you ready? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five. Oh, what an offering up over the top. This fight's going to be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the corner, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. 
Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, huge block! Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his time. Whoa! Oh, big diving punch is good. He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Look at him whip his hips to that kick. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Let's focus. Let's focus now. 90 seconds to go now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice leg kick lands. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And Oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter-striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. Hands higher, hands higher. Just unable to quite find that range. Right on the button. Big hit. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now. What a round. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together. And Whoa! Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. And he landed the right hand there. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Back to the feet. Good punch, Lance. Keep throwing again. Throw it again. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Oh, big left hand there. And he caught the kick. That one's still in. Nice strike. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Great 
straight punch. And they separate. Left hand punch from the clinch. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Let's move. Let's the move. Under a minute now to go in the fight. Big punch lands through the middle. 45 seconds remain in the round. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, a huge block there. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. What else can you say but what a fight? Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 49-46, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Big Daddy! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight. 